Good morning, 7-Minute. I hope you're doing well. Okay. I'm going to resume the work I started last time, where I went through content from the Inferno Programming with Limbo book and see where that takes us. Uh, if you weren't here for the first stream of this kind, I went through some example code from the Inferno Programming with Limbo site and worked on correcting it. Fixed everything except, what was it? This is a web title one. Uh, web view and I'm not actually going to try fix that one right now because that involve that probably involves writing a fair bit of code. My arm's a little sore right now. I'm trying to avoid that. Okay. So it looks like we have our work cut out for us though. Hopefully fixing code and explaining it won't be the worst my arm I'm trying to keep strain off of my left arm um oh yeah so i don't think i showed this working last time um with the inferno plumber but as you see here i have all these .b files and .m files and we saw the plumber work we didn't see it uh, output I guess to Acme because normally if we start say like an Acme here then I think if we right click here it shows up here it did not uh, that one did though that one made it that one that one that one nice but if we don't have Acme running and we right click here we see it show up in the editor Brutus Presumably named for the, uh, what, Roman character? Ed to Brutus or whatever. I betrayed Caesar, I think. I think that's what that was. I hope my mic is coming through okay. I'm not actually sure. So if the audio stops working, then uh, you'll have to let me know. Alright. So, I could use Brutus, but I don't think I actually want to. It's interesting how you see those plums drop as uh, like if you click it too fast as something's opening or closing it just doesn't go through. And Brutus doesn't seem to have a limbo button though I thought I remembered it having some uh, like compilation capabilities but maybe not. I guess it's a traditional plan 9 SAM approach where you just say that uh, oh good thank you uh, I'm not sure how to say your name, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say Captain Affy. Uh <laughs> and uh and yeah. So I could swear that there is some like built in maybe if I edit it there's like a limbo button. I don't think so. Maybe there's another editor. Um edit? No. But uh oh Neat. There's a limbo button. I wonder what that does. Hold on. But uh, yeah, so the SAM Plan 9 thesis would be that your window manager exists for you to have compilation and everything split up. And I just happen to be uh, a bit too attached to Acme. And I like having my window management interfered with. But oh well. So, let's see. Um, for a moment here, let me open a new shell. And let's see all, all the WM programs we have are, and this is Purgatorial Mind, so if you've ever looked at stock uh, Inferno, it might differ a little bit. Let's see, there's about, oh my goodness, it plums it for editing. Amazing. If I middle click it, I doubt it runs it though. Anywho. Ghost Brutus instances. Balance Brutus. Brutus is an edif editor. Let's just see what some of these programs are. Or 
Because I'm not totally sure what all these are off the top of my head. WM about, I know what that is. It shows this and for no new edition. And I've accompanied this late Pacific night with a nice mug of hot cider, a little bit of brandy, and a little bit of Greek ouzo. It's very comforting. WM about is that. WM AVI, I'm guessing, is an AVI player, which is interesting because um, I don't actually have any AVI files on hand, and I think it was Mischief that wrote an AVI player for Plan 9. Yeah, it was. Here it is. Preserved in the archive because it was a victim of the uh, bitbucket.org book burning that Atlassian participated in. Let's ask, uh, man. Glorious. Doesn't look like it has a man page. Maybe that's a contributed item too. I know I've just pulled in contributed items that don't have manual pages. So one of these days I'll have to go in and uh, add those myself, I suppose. This looks like a connect for, it looks like it gives me a robot to play against. Let's see. I don't know if I can beat a robot at connect for. I'm not sure I want to try. WM Calendar, pretty standard. Some of these programs, ooh, interesting. No DBFS mounted. Oh, what are you? DBFS, raw DBFS, simple database file system. Of course it is. Suppose a simple record-based file system stored in file. Hmm, I wonder if it uses add or db format. No matter. Um, WM Coffee. This is the Infernal Coffee program that uh, you see floating around in Inferno demos. Anywho, supposedly it's a good way to learn how to write. Inferno programs. Here's the collide. I think I actually, when I was figuring out how to write my bouncing ball demo, which I showed code off for last time, but I don't think I ever actually demoed. It's on my GitHub. Eh. Make config? Strange. Strange, strange, strange. Well, regardless, it looks like it's built. I wonder if this is a early version of it. That didn't look like it worked. But I know for a fact I got it working. No matter. Whatever. We tried. Let's see. Wow. Let me such Brutus. Oh, thank you, Brutus. At some point, I need to go through, because I bet Brutus does have command line arguments. Oh, wow, it doesn't. Very simple. Can I ask a question about the Inferno show and standard indirect redirection? Yeah, sure. This is a uh, full Q and A is open here. I don't, as you can see, I'm not too eager to dive into the IPWL code. So, um, fire it will. Though I will say I am, uh, <laughs> I am hardly an expert on the Inferno shell. I just barely know how to make it work. Um, I'm no Pete, the guy he wrote. He's a really good shell. Um, blog post here by uh, this guy Pete. This is really good content. But yeah, fire away. Uh, even if I don't know the answer, maybe we can derive it real quick. Uh, 
um, just to clarify while I wait for a seven minutes question to be typed out, um, the Inferno shell is, uh, I'm not going to say over-engineered. I don't think that's the right word. Um, I need non-interactive -inter auth change login and get auth info. I have ugly hacks like this. Okay. Let me see. I'm opening this in a separate browser to skim the GitHub stuff so you won't see it on stream, but let me see. For this print, this print, raw on. See, I see. Oh, it's Metacoma. Hello. I didn't rub this together. See, I see, I see. Exit. So, wow, I don't think I've actually used raw mode in Inferno really at any point. I need a TLDR, I need non-interactive auth change login and get auth info. When you say non-interactive, do you mean that you want, so like let's say, let's just say, do you want it to be like, I, this ugly heck, let me run auth change login without keyboard interaction. I see. So you don't want them to have to type anything? You just want to run the command and change stuff. What are? Because I'm going off of. Oh, I don't. I don't have any keys generated. But um, you just want to like pipe in like a password, like with the arrow operator, kind of something like that, or script it through. So you do like echo my pass. Um, auth like set password, some sort of automation auth. Ah, I see. You know, it's funny actually. I did something like that in Plan Nine once because I wanted to be able to auto generate a bunch of accounts uh, for it for something we did at like my lab as we ran when we wrote BankFS. We needed an account for every team that competed for BankFS for the central bank system, and we had to script generation of Plan Nine users which is kind of fun and password generation no less but i don't quite remember how we did it so we have automation auth change login get auth info okay um yeah so let's see i don't know oh man it's been ages since i've set up inferno to have auth but uh hold on hold on so man Change login. Let me just skim a couple things real quick. Name, system administrator, password file, it's a requirement for signing servers, blah, blah, blah. You may want to be used. I'm saying host itself after KeyFS has been started. Right. Um, so I'm guessing this works probably a little bit like how Plan 9's does. I want to say what we did is we did just echo stuff on plan nine or maybe we wrote it straight to dev cons um which is i think we have that here like we echo foo slash dev slash cons we see it show up here um i've tried this but i have no success also tried to write to dev cons also without success i see interesting um I have no success, huh? All right, well, let's experiment a little bit here. I'm not promising a solution, but now I'm curious. Let me see. Can I do just this? Or... 
before I break something. Incorrect key. Oh man. See, I remember setting up uh, Inferno Auth at one point. It's two level, but it's been so long. I remember finding a document that explained it actually. I think it was on Cat V that was old but seemed to mostly work. It, or it's a little more involved than uh, on Plan 9 because as I recall it has a few little cert things. But maybe we can get around this question by just uh, taking a copy of change login and uh, rather than actually making it do these things, just play around with the standard in stuff. So let's, oh my god. Man, change login. All right, so that's change login dot b. See the apple make deer. Um, cl cp. This here. Let's just see if this works on its own. Nice. So. Slash make this, I think. Yes, I think this is what we want. And then at uh, pp slash make five equals is login dot this. Um, Pass that disk. We're gonna call this pass for now, and we're gonna chop this down a little bit. Um, why is make config missing? It's definitely an MK config file, unless I deleted it. Yeah. See. Mm. I don't remember <laughs> I don't quite remember how you're supposed to write like user land uh, standalone make files off the top of my head no matter we will do what we can so let's just get an acme to start this is where I'm comfortable and we don't need make here all right, let's throw away key ring here in a second, but all right, all right, all right. Let's get a shell window. <laughs> all right, standard in file dust zero, standard out file dust one, standard out file dust two. That's pretty standard. Fill dust. Arg v zero, arg, interesting. Standard error usage. Interesting that they completely lo avoid loading arg.m. So this might actually predate that, not that that's surprising. Daytime, load daytime. Path. If daytime is nil, can't load daytime. Get password. Alright, that's the part that I'm interested in. So get user ID. What are you? Where do you read from the user? Tell me your secrets. And then here I'm going to do, all right, we're just going to make sure we have that there. And just to make sure I understand how this works. And this should fail for the record. Yeah. Um, okay, but we got the secret prompt right away. That's here. Do, 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 do. 
For the record, Metacoma, I don't think it would be shameful uh, to just have a switch that reads from uh, standard in rather than anything else, but uh, rather than cutting out the code completely. But anyways, I understand that the issue here is actually doing that. Um, we don't need this for our purposes. In fact, we don't need key ring or any of that at all. So we're just cutting this down. Oh, sweet Jesus. Um, we're just gonna get ourselves a nice little get that read line. be at least eight characters. Nice. Okay, so that's the piece of code we're actually interested in. Everything else can go away, I guess. Oh, but they have the confirmed dialogue, and just to be nice, we're going to uh, include that. So. What is word? Oh, I see. Um, we're going to go with secret is nil. And note that nil and the empty quote is uh the same as far as uh limbo is con is concerned. Okay. So, we don't need any of this shit. None of it at all. So we're just gonna cut it out. Okay. Sweet. Pass. Pass for A. No. ASDF, 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 ASDF. Great. All right, so we see that works. So. And then just for kicks at the end here, um, we should probably actually omit what we got. Um, word equals, now we don't need, I'm gonna just get rid of the keyring shit just to be safe. And then I think word let's declare it out here. Let's see if that works. Right? Previously declared here. Oh, excellent. We're just gonna move that forward a little bit. Local new secret not referenced. Oh no, we'll just get rid of it. Cool. So sysprint word equals percent s and secret equals percent s that should be nothing and then word one we're going to move out here just to be safe. Because I just want to observe all the state even if we shouldn't need this. Better just start with everything, but not enough. Oh, yeah, I guess. Excellent. As foo, secret, um, ASDF, 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 ASDF. Entries do not match. Oh, make it that reduce the noise. ASDF, 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 ASDF. Excellent. Okay. So now we need to figure out how to bend the inferno shell to our work our will. Now you said it didn't work, but we're gonna illustrate exactly what happens anyways. So we're gonna do 
let's say just so we're using variables uh, user equals Bob that's just in our environment and we're gonna do pass equals um, a b c d a b e f g h i j k and we'll just do that and then we're gonna do uh, echo pass oh, echo pass let's just see what happens here echo pass um, all right let's limbo pass dot b echo pass into pass user read from console mode error read from console mode that's not from here is it oh i see so this is in this read line function I see this is where it controls raw mode. That's probably works the same as in Rio. That's just my guess. Might be erroneous, but I'm just going for it. On CTL. Error read from console mode. Interesting. Do we get a entries do not match? Well, yes, I suppose so. It's annoying they don't put a new line in there. I might go back and update this in Purgatorio if we find something interesting. This should just have a new line anyways. Just to be clear. Error read from console mode, entries do not match. Right. Ah, there we go. Um, I'm wondering now. So in RC, we have the idea of the snow cone operator. Um, I see the first time, strange. Uh, so I'm wondering, so it says secret, and then it says confirm, and then it says it. Um, so I think it's actually reading this one in just fine, and it tries to read the second one, and because it, standard input doesn't have anything left in the buffer, it just closes. Like it, it, yeah, or it has like a zero read, right? Like I bet if we print this, this is a zero read, not an actual, like, I would say not an actual error. And I bet, I don't know if percent %r is populated by this, but we're just going to give it a shot just to see what happens. Um, file does not exist. Aha, yeah, see, there's no, um, but it seems to get through secret, right? So if we go up here, we put another one of these in, right? Or, yeah, we don't need word one in this one. All right, I bet we're going to see the first one and then the error. Um, yeah, see, um, it actually gets and populates the first one. So our issue here is it needs to be able to read twice. OK, so the way you would do this in RC, I think, is with the snow cone operator. And how that works is, uh, oh boy, as my memory serves, let me pull up my reference for RC. So what we're going to do basically is we're going to try to make a pipe stream into this program. Uh, and here's my RC reference for anyone who cares. My cat is fighting ghosts in the hallway. Something like echo pass, echo pass, pass user. I think we can actually be a bit more elegant than that. Um, so maybe that, right? So, so let, let's just do that and see what happens. Um, but I think, ah, yeah, see, even that works. Yeah, 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 you can use the brackets. So that does work. Um, actually, it looks like, so first secret word, word, word one. Now. And that works. Um, so it would be uh, echo pass, echo pass, pass user. And that would work, right? Right? Um, now, and, and, and let's, let's understand and let's appreciate. 
that uh, this file does not exist error happens probably because there's no more information to be read on standard in and standard in is closed and I'm guessing summarily removed by Inferno since there's nothing there so when it tries to read from the uh, from the file descriptor there's nothing to read uh, file does not exist is kind of unhelpful but it didn't even give you that they just kind of told you to fuck off which is unfortunate but yeah see see we note that our process of elimination here was to insert ourselves at every step now I'm, I'm going to see I don't remember if the inferno shell has the snow cone operator I just want to see if it works um and so the example can you try with the original auth change login yeah sure though I think I think it'll error out because I don't have it all set up but uh let's do um echo paths echo paths auth change login user yeah see error read from console mode and that error read from console mode is uh because we need to put this in so what we can do here then is do echo I think you just do an empty echo there and that'll work um, yeah see that seemed to go through okay but I think you just need a new line and you just do that with a quote quote to get the return but we could do oops we could do like this cut this out yeah see and you just do that you can't click because permission denied but uh, if you have everything set up that should just work and for posterity I will just paste that in here and you can probably also just do um, an empty echo like that because that will just emit a new line and nothing else. Yeah. And this works as a specter, why it doesn't work in my cases. Of course, Metacoma. I don't know. I it could it, it could be a variety of things. Um but I if I had to guess, uh I just had some default like thing I did. That was different than whatever you did. Um, I am curious though. Auth change login user. I'm gonna try to use the snow cone anyways. Um, echo paths echo paths. Uh, echo that. I think this is how this works. Doesn't work. Interesting. Well, regardless, we have our answer. Oh my god. Let me out. Just delete. Yeah. So there we go. Um actually, while we're here, we can do some quality of life updates to the real change login. I wonder <laughs> let me see if this is even a uh up to date purgatorio poll. It seems that way. Checking in my spare terminal. HT status. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Uh, grep dash v. Let me just skim through. Doesn't look like I have any significant differences in my in my mercurial here. So I think I'm good to make an update. So let's do that. Let's actually just clean up, change login a little bit. Um, uh, where was that? It's in like an auth directory, I bet. Slash apple cmd auth. There we go.
Do 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 do. I need Nana to use auth login for authenticate mine test users. Oh, I see. Interesting. This makes sense. Um, yeah. So let's see. Change login. Besides, I'm not here to judge. Ah, da 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 da. Stand there, stand it out, GDB, blah, 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 blah. Um, let's just clean up that error message we saw earlier. Here it is. Set R, new line. Let's make this an arrow, just to be nice. I like using the arrows for uh, error output actually. Oh, we can use. Oops. How does. Oh boy. G arrow slash lib. Oh, we don't have G. Grep arrow slash lib slash keyboard. Do we have that here? Oh, uh, very nice. Ah, it's capital V. So alt equals capital V. There we go. Ooh, that's kind of ugly on this font, but oh well. <laughs> and I'll just push this code after stream at some point. Here's another one without a new line. I bet this one also needs an error. Let's just click through and see how many of these actually have new lines. Or let's do this the uh, the fun way and do grep dash m. Uh, f print uh, change login dot b grep dash, dash v star backslash m. Wonder if that works. Valid regular expression backslash backslash m. Two four two and two five nine two. Mm, but that goes to an FD, so we don't really need to worry about that. And that one, we just haven't written yet. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we come back here and nice. So now if we do there you go. Error. Read from console mode. File does not exist. Very nice. Alright. That's code to be committed later. Now, I'm glad I could help Metacoma. Let's go. Back to here. Of course. Always happy to help. I think it's really helpful to just have other people look at these sorts of problems, you know? It's always nice having a spare set of eyes. All right. What do we have in this example code here? What do we have all around here? Hello world. What's happening? Oh my god, it's there. Thank you, Acme. Very cool. Limbo. Hello world dot b. Hello world. Hello world. No new line. Bike shedding. Throwing that in there. Please always put a new line. Context not referenced. Args not referenced. Stylisms. If we don't use them, we shouldn't include them. Um, oh, they need to be nil though, because the way we mark these as not being used is by naming them nil. This is a comment. I realize the point here is to actually fix broken code, but uh, I need to be a little petty, you know? Let's see, what is add user? 
Oh, that looks like real code. Oh, I see key ring. Oh, yikes. At some point, I need to set this up to uh, actually support like auth and have key ring set up. I had a Purgatorio set up to do that at one point because I was fiddling around with various network stuff on Inferno, but I haven't touched that in a while now. Okay, so this is a Fibonacci function. Does it compile? Yes. Fibonacci. It prints out the number of dots. Well, that code works. And you can see Stanley nulls this out, or nulls this out here. Very nice. Oh, speaking of which, um, isn't this interesting that uh, here it doesn't have the module definition? I thought that was mandatory. That's so interesting to me. See, he's wholly omitted it here. Has my whole life been a lie? I don't know if I've ever written a program that's intentionally omitted it. I wonder what the implications of that is. Maybe it makes it harder to load it from another place. I, if I had to guess, that would be it. But maybe it doesn't matter if all you have is a knit. I mean, it does. It means that uh, if you ever tried to load this from another program, uh, I don't know if you could. Maybe it doesn't matter. Interesting. And it's interesting to me that maybe I could have been omitting that this whole time. This is so strange. I've never actually done this. In fact, in Limbo by Example, I think I state that it's necessary. When it might not be. I'd love to not have to write it. Let's... Oh, I, I'd say let's write one, but... Oh, I see. He put it in a module file here. I'm daft. Yeah, it's strange. Must be present always. Yeah, no, he put it in this module file. I just totally blanked and didn't see it until I read very closely. And I was, I, I, even on this list here, I saw it and didn't register it. You can tell it's late. But, oh well. It must be present always. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Bad user. Oh, right, we looked at that one. Alt chan busy. A print. What is A print? <laughs> wow, what on earth? Mir Migukai. Um, I see. But don't we have. Yeah, we can just. We just have these characters. The Greek characters are typable. I wonder, start up B. Oh, all right. Wait, hold on. <laughs> um, F in. Let's see if I remember how to use the limbo shell for F in. Uh, ls start up B. Limbo. F. Great. Uh, I need a reference like this, but for um, like the one I have for RC, but for um, Inferno shell. I think I do this or F. Oh, with parens, really? Ah. No parens, but I'm sure parens work. See, we omitted them here. Um, interesting. Oh, it's if tests. It's if that use the curly braces for like their bodies or whatever. You have to do like if one ls or echo one. Echo smiley face. Er, if one one smiley face. There we go. This is a 
tilde test for one one if one is the same as one they are so we echo smiley face and then you do i think this oh we don't have frowny face do an intero bang how about that or, or not an intero bang upside down question mark so then if we do this excellent um but yeah oh wow it looks like a lot of these just don't work so that's pretty cool Let's do bite to char. That sounds like something that I can reason about. Ooh, this is nice and short. Okay. Do we get Unicode identifiers in Limbo? I'm not entirely sure. Um, that's like one of my favorite things in uh, Plan 9C is that you can make Unicode identifiers. So, Hold on. What is it exactly complaining about? There's a new line here. I think there just shouldn't be a new line here. Is that it? Lame. Uh, let's make mu a real mu. How about that? Like that? Will Limbo let me do this? But Limbo, mu is not declared. Hey, but it didn't quite, it didn't whine about. Okay, hold on. There we go. Aha, we do get Unicode identifiers. Actually, I knew that because I used it in the bouncing ball. Demo. Excellent. So then if we do byte to char, two bytes used to create Unicode character mu. I see. Can I use anything except mu i suppose i can i could modify this program to read from standard input so what's the easiest way to do that is it to read from cons oh uh, i bet there's like a read So you saw they implement their own in a change login, and I'd really like to unify those sorts of things. I mean, I'm sure the buff IO stuff will just take care of it if I ask it nicely. But I might as well make it all buff IO. Maybe read from sys args. That's true. I could just do that. That's the really lazy option. Let's just do that. You know? Args. And then we're going to do... Or, pfft, that's not how that works. Um, we're going to do like uh, runes array of I don't know. What do we have in Inferno? Char? No. Uh, there's like something else. I remember array declarations be kind of being kind of messy and uh, like very finicky. Go by example. Do, 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 do. How do I forward declare one? Array of int. There we go. I want to make an int. What is a string composed of? What? Near char syntax error, I'm guessing then. Oh, wait. Nah? Char is not declared. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know. I guess an int is probably enough to store a Unicode character, huh? Something like that. Because if I look at the string libraries, I bet that if we look at the signatures, yeah, see, split, too big, too lower, too 
like what are strings composed of because we have the i don't think this has the room type right oh that's the arrays file um all right i guess it's array of byte is what strings can be turned into so i guess we just want like runes it's a string i guess is just the correct way to do this and there's no actual full like maximal thing and then like there's no like this is guaranteed to contain a full unicode character in this one thing local runes not referenced all right so if what is it len is that what it is len args is less than two then uh runes equals string nice it seems to have accepted that and this is mu So let's run that real quick. Oh, mu is not declared. Oh, I see. So yeah, so now what we want to do is um, for how do we unpack? Can we iterate over a string? There's no char type in limbo. Yeah, it seems that way, huh? Um. How do I iterate through a string nicely? Um, well, let's just try to iterate through it and see what happens. For i so zero, i is less than len runes i plus plus. I hope this isn't bytes, whatever comes out. I don't know what it is, but I bet it's going to yell at me and say I can't index into it or something like that. Array of bytes. Saw runes i of type int. That is not declared. Oh, I see. We need to pack these in here as well. indent these with end shore up this formatting a bit for better or worse fun fact if you control w it'll clear back all the white space too so you can use it to clean up lines like it's control u but it's easier to reach with just your left hand <laughs> i hate this All right, let's get rid of this so it's less noisy. All right, mismatch. Expected. Array of bytes, saw runes, I have type int. So it is an int. It is composed of ints, which makes sense because the rune type on uh, plan 9, as I recall, is a uh, like int 16 or uint 16 or something like that. Let me check real quick. Check from the nine front itself. <sighs> yes, sys include what does this be? Libc.h probably. Mm, actually, it's probably a new.h, you know? Well, AMD64 include u.h. Rune. Ah, yes. So inside u.h on plan 9 for AMD64, it's type uint. Interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. String array of byte. Select array of byte saw runes i of type int. Well, this is easy. We just do array of. Oh, I see. Um, so we write, I guess we just do array of int equals um, But I can do runes equals, how do I like initialize one? Like how does nums happen? Array of Ah, oh, shit. I lost the uh, the magic, didn't I? So runes equals array of Yeah, I bet this is going to type clash, right? Of type array of byte, right. Um. All right, so let's do this. So this is an array of byte. So we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. Um, oh, you're saying like it could just be a list. Oh uh, shit, that's actually pretty accurate, right? Um, oh shit, yeah. List of it. How does this work? How are lists? It's been ages. And we'll just iterate over args otherwise. We'll just say runes is args. Um, oh, I see. Let's do this. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Head runes not make an int from array two, so string list of string. A very specific way I want to do this. Array of byte saw HD runes of type string. Array of byte. Excellent. Um, runes. Um. Mu. Some like Tolan. Nice. Byte. Oh, Jesus Christ. Byte to char. Two bytes used to create that. And then else. Runes equals args. Um, getting rid of the program name. So byte to char f byte to char smiley face byte to char smiley face Oop. come on you can do it smiley face that thing mu or not mu upsilon 
mu sigma s set. I don't know what else do we got. Um, so that's lib says keyboard. They're like Chinese characters are usually a pretty good example that I use for multi byte wide. Uh, da -da -da -da. Chess characters, those probably fall into that category, you know? Oh. Uh. <laughs> what? What is this? What is happening here? Oh, I see, I see. Oh god, I did something terrible here. I just did this loop. Right, right, right. So, <laughs> um, runes is not equal nil, I think. Is that how I do list iterators? Or list iteration? Yeah. Um, does not equal nil. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Yeah, it's like, oh, I do like wilds, or was not equal nil, and then, yeah, 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 it's like, runes equals tl runes. So now, if we do this again, yeah, there we go. ETF lens status. Where does byte to chart come from? This function. Oh, it's this. I see. Byte to char. Um, except what's sig byte to char? <sighs> yeah, it returns an int. Interesting. Okay. Oh, God. Plumb this manual, possibly. No, fine. Keep your secrets. Turn to bytes here is one year code character, buff scenario of bytes. So the main thing I'm thinking here is that that's HD runes. Unistring. What is unistring? Oh, it just builds on top of itself? That seems a little silly, but it wasn't meant to be iterative, was it? There we go. There we go. I was wondering why it was cascading. It was just adding on to itself. Um, yeah, it was excellent. I don't really like his use of square, square brackets. I'll tolerate it and not change it, but yeah, easy, easy. I don't think these brackets are necessary. I understand why the other ones exist. It just kind of like agitates me, you know? Okay, maybe I lied. Maybe we are gonna just quote these. It just, uh, yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. Easy, 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 easy. I like the little Super Meat Boy. Thumbs up, it makes me really happy. I haven't played Super Meat Boy in a long time. I think I have like a moral obligation not to, because if I went back, I like beat the game. I don't know if I 100% of it, but I got through, as far as I remember, everything. And I think if I did that again, I would uh, lose my sanity a bit. I'd lose part of my soul permanently trying to beat all of Super Meat Boy again. The game's just like a lot. I think I beat it in like high school when I had more energy and patience for that kind of bullshit. Great game though. Excellent. All right. And just to explain uh, for anyone other than Metacoma that might not know how all of the syntax works. Um, what we did here is args the list of string. These are the command line arguments. As we see byte to char here, and we pass in smiley face, double right arrow, um, 
whatever that is, Upsilon, I think, Mu, Sigma, S set from Deutsch, and what, I'm guessing the King, the White King uh, piece from Chess. And so these will get passed in along with the program name, which is byte to char in this case, as a list of string. We load sys as normal. This is the only dependency we have. And we make a list of string, since this is not necessarily args. We could actually, I guess, just override args and use it anyways. Let's clean this up maybe and do that. But I like runes. You know, for readability, I like runes. I like having these separate names for things, even if they happen to be the same. And I'll just do that because I feel like it's nice. Um, so runes is a list of string. Uh, this is all that's needed to have a working list in Limbo. For like arrays, you need to initialize them in channels. I think you also need to initialize them. But lists, they start out fine like this. So we check to see if the length of args is less than two because it'll always be two if we pass in any arguments at all because it'll always be one even with no arguments because that's the program name. So we need to check for two. So this is seeing if we pass any arguments. If not, we just use mu as the default as an example of a multibyte Unicode character, which are stored as an int, as we saw with a byte to chart signature. And that's a 32-bit integer, if I understand dis and limbo correctly, and my memory serves me well. And then runes, here, this uh, double colon operator is the append in list operator. And we see list name runes, list name runes, and we uh, prepend mu into runes. So we append mu, whatever. It doesn't matter. We put, mu, we put the only element that will exist in runes into it here. And then over here, we take the tail of args because remember we have that program name in the first slot and we want to get rid of that program name it just kind of bothers me um and we drop the byte to chart program name and everything after it goes in here and note this will only happen if there's two or more so there is guaranteed to be arguments so there will, this will succeed there will be a tail and then we make this for loop where every iteration, while runes is not nil, where nil is an empty list, mind, that's how we test that. I think we do len too, but nil is a perfectly sufficient check. And we say runes is the tail of runes on every iteration. So we chop off the head of the list, which is the first element. And then unistring is the unicode string, string. Uh, we get a char, we get a len, and we get a status back for byte to char as per the manual. This is from the sys module. And we make the, so the way order of operations works here is the head of runes, so the first element in the runes list, is cast to an array of byte. That's how the syntax works. There's no parens here. Array of byte is the type, and the head of runes is the operator precedence first and so this will be a string because it runes is a list of string as is args note that we actually didn't say args is used in the module uh signature but it didn't matter um that's kind of fun yes and and then yeah we do stuff so unicode string um, at the len unistring is the unichar. And if status is zero, we do that. And if not, then so this is byte to char failed if if we get a zero back. Invalid UTFA sequence. And then um percent d bytes used to create unicode character percent s. And that's every other instance. So limbo has head and tail. Are there other Lisp inspired, inspired list operations? So uh, good question, RC enthusiast. Um, so limbo's first class lists are actually really useful and really interesting, but there's really not that much more. Like you can see, we don't even get formal iterators. We just get runes being nil as nice sugar 
and the fact that they can just be declared and not initialized also as sugar. Um, and I say sugar in kind of a generous way. Um, I recommend checking limbo by example on my GitHub. Uh, I'll drop a link to this one in particular. Slash tree master lists. Best viewed in Acme. So you get those sweet, sweet right click pipes. Oh. Oh, amazing. Um, you'd see my little TypeScript window or whatever, because I accidentally closed the uh, stream manager or the pop out chat. I hit Control W. Pop out. Come on. This is called chat twitch. I broke my OBS. That's all I have to say. Ah, there we go. Share a link to the nine fans discord. Oh yeah, sure. You know, I'm just gonna get this back and do, oh, what a disaster, what a train wreck. Yeah, test. Why is the window so, oh, it's because the proportions are all messed up, that's why. There we go. Oh boy, I'm a little slow tonight. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Yeah, nine fans Discord link. I'm gonna unpack this stuff one at a time now that I've saved. Uh, I'm gonna guess that everything looks kosher now. All right. Uh, yeah, nine fans Discord. Um, note that there's a link on the front page of Postnix. Uh, duh, 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 duh. this invite should be good. Cool. Yeah. And then that is bridged on IRC on Freenode in the what? Pound sign, pound side, nine fans. And then pound sign, pound sign, nine fans. Pound nine, nine, pound, pound, nine fans, pound inferno, I think are all the different ones. Anyways, going back to RC enthusiast question, I really just wanted and actually just read this in Acme because we have that. So what did I, did I do anything weird in here? Undo, redo. Limbo? Okay. So let's just close that for now to get rid of distractions. And so Limbo supports lists of arbitrary types as a basic construct. Three lists are declared. Did I even ever, I don't even remember now, did I get to the point where I could link? Yeah, I'll just link this again just to be safe. Um, so all it really has is head and tail and the concatenation operator. So yeah, so len also is a bit of sugar in that it tells you the number of elements in the list. And these are effectively singly linked lists, I believe, is how I would reason about it. So you have A, and you know if you do like head or tail, you get what you get. So if you have list A, B, C, take head, that's A, take tail, that's B, C. You can't get A back if you do like tail, right? Um, and you reset the original value. So like if you do foo equals tl foo, you won't be able to get whatever the old head was back, 
was just gone. And garbage collected uh, in limbo. Because that's the mark and sweep and apparently ref count and garbage collector slash both at the same time. Mark and sweep is the one that's more remarkable and that's kind of the one I think that uh, I think Go uses a variant of that actually. You can find the garbage collector uh, paper for an I don't know, uh, let me cat-v.org real quick. It's like a garbage collector paper or something. Ah, yes. Here it is. A very concurrent mark and sweep garbage collection without fine grain synchronization by Lawrence and Phil Winterbottom. There we are. Anywho, yeah, so basically you just get the clone clone concatenator and you get right here. Also, peep the uh, comma and the plum string so we get a range highlighted in Acme here, which is very nice. So you see spike into names. And if we take this example here, And we uh, do this. We run lists with a middle click. So we can say, we can see that the lengths of everything at the beginning are 0, 0, 0. And then after we do all these appends, uh, we do lens again after this. And we say 330 for names. Ages. We see we append ages in here and persons. I guess the append might not be, it's prepend really. I keep saying append, but it's really prepend uh, to the list. And we see the order that we get stuff out when we iterate through. We see, so we put spike in first and then uh, ed colon colon jet. And we see jet was inserted into the list first and then add so prepend jet um or so they go in in like reverse order basically here and then we see like 13 36 we see 36 13 even though we iterate through it in order if that makes sense so len colon colon TLHD. But it is interesting that they have it. It's a kind of an interesting choice. I like it. I like having easy access to uh, lists as a first class type. Can't really convert anything to them quietly. Nothing can just become a list. Like you can't make arrays lists as my memory serves. But that is, you can't just cast them or coerce them. But, uh, oops, I didn't really want to do that. But oh well. Habit. Um, yeah. So let's do limbo start.b again and see what comes out. Sha. Am I bold enough? Limbo tiny.b. Yeah, no output. Pong. Ooh, and they're just raises. Is there a generic map or filter in the standard lib? Uh, standard lib? Uh, no, I don't think so. You could implement them though. Um, we could try to implement map and filter. I'm uh, pretty deep into this uh, hot cider mug. So uh, I don't know how quick I'm gonna be on my wit, but uh, I can give this a shot. Why not? Oh boy. There's a, I think we can borrow from, we're gonna do this in the limbo play playground. So as we do get some polymorphism. So in theory, this is possible. If they're anywhere, it's in the lists library. 
And we see we have append, combine, concat, delete, find, is member, last pair, reverse, unpair, all sat, any sat. Oh, we do have, wow, filter and map. There you go. They are just there in partition. Okay, okay. Well, let's take these for a spin then, shall we? Um, Right. Excellent. I'm uh, proud of myself for getting that without checking a reference. Here I said I wouldn't write any code. It's okay, my arm feels fine. It's a little sore, but uh, I'm being nice to it. Okay, let's get our exits. Let's get our let's get our sys equals load sys sys path. Is that right? Nice. Okay. And now we need to do lists. Yoink. We'll take their advice and we'll just use it down here. Ooh, we could be, well, hold on. Just in case we want other functions. Sorry, I'm clicking out of tab a little bit. Uh, da 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 da. Out of window, I suppose, I would say. She not like that? Oh, I lost my semicolon, that's why. There we go. Alright. Let's get a win up and running, delete that. So we have what is sat and all sat? All sat returns one if all L satisfy P and return zero otherwise. Any sat returns one. Oh, it's like, oh, it's just satisfiability. Okay. That seems sensible. Map, partition, filter. So map. Map returns a new list in which each element of L has been transformed by F, i.e. if L is E0, E1, da, 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 then the result is F of E0, F of E1, da, 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 da. Excellent. Have that. So let's make. So I need a function. And the types need to match. We do get polymorphism, but the types do need to line up. So what do we want to do? I think numbers are the sensible thing to do here. So we can call it, we can say like nums list of int. And let's just do like nums equals three colon colon five colon colon. 7 colon colon 12 colon colon 32 colon colon 99. That seems like it. Six numbers is uh, pretty decent, right? I would attack that on the nums. Everything's kosher. FP. Oh. Did I not do this right from memory? It wouldn't be that surprising, would it? Uh context not capitalize what did I do da. let's check a uh, different signature ah it's ref it's ref draw context ah I forgot that I forget that a lot actually I forget about ref there we go 
All right, close. I was I was I was proud of myself, but uh, it was erroneous. So then, let's do nums. And I bet it returns the list back, yeah, because like the value will change, and we don't we're not using references, I suppose. <laughs> Ref. Ref function, so it takes a function pointer, that's what this is, ref of fn. We name that f, and then just list of t, list of t. So nums equals lists map, or except that's, yeah, that's that. Um, let's do double. Let's start that, um, nums. And let's write a double function. And it needs to take in just an int, I guess. Yeah, and return an int. Um, note, the way to read this, for anyone watching, is a function. This is, a, this is like the prototype form that you see in module definitions in Limbo, which is slightly different from what you, how you actually declare them, because we have this fn syntax for functions. So we say a function polymorphic over the type cap t, uh, and this is the polymorphism type T syntax for function signatures, standalone polymorphic functions that are not attached to an ADT, an algebraic data type, abstract data type, don't think it matters. The name F of type reference function, uh, which takes in a type T, happenstance named X here. The name doesn't matter for that, for X. And then it returns, that function returns a type T. Second argument, L of type list of T. And this whole function, this whole map function returns a list of T, presumably a modified version of this list as it says in the manual. So, X int, uh, just to be mean, uh, I'm gonna say N here to emphasize how the name of the argument doesn't matter at all. Does this just build? Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Uh, ref. No. All right, hold on. Um, type clash nums list of int ref of type list of t. Uh, function call mismatch fn t list of t versus fn t nil. Uh, shouldn't need to be declared first, does it? No, I don't think that matters. I don't think limbo's that stingy. Um. Oh man, I do hate the polymorphic. Uh, error output. Uh, why is it nil? Type clash in nums. Type list of int of type list of t. Do we, am I doing something wrong here? Strongly typed languages are always fun. Yeah, I'm sure it's something stupid, some piece of syntax I'm missing. Um, so it says nil here, returns int, list of int, list of t. I don't think I need to invoke the function in a special way. Like, map. Oh, my cat came to say hello. 
You need to return list, I think. Oh, it does it. I know. No, no, no. It just returns one. The type parameter is inferred. I think it is. Um, what does it say? Mega? Um, let me double check my polymorphism example and limbo by example. See how much we use this? We get so much mileage out of limbo by example. At least I do. I don't even care if anyone else looks at it, uh, even though I know they do. I use it so much. Um, get out of here. Get out of here. I had something similar actually in here. Yeah, like is member T, list of T. Um, but I have like a list function here, see? It takes a list of T1. And where do I call pair? Yeah, you just call pair on like strings and words. You don't need to do anything special. I don't think, which is why I'm a little confused. Okay, hold on. Let's cut this out. Or, excuse me, I pulled that out of the wrong place. And let's let, let's reduce our errors as little as possible. Function call type mismatch. I remember running into this when I was figuring out how to use the polymorphism. I don't remember what the bullshit reason was. Nil ref fn x. It might be something to do with... um. Uh, passing in the function actually. Because we get nil ref fn and int returns an int l list of int list of t. I guess alternatively, grep dash n lists, grep dash i map, gr, I do have gr, lists slash apple, um, grep dash i uh, grep map for usage. This is kind of how I figured out how some of these things work. I'm a little thrown off though. Um, let's keep going through here. Maybe I want, oh great. That's what I love to see. Brett power. Oh, okay, stop, 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 stop. Not what I want. I want, <laughs> List that. I don't know if I need to escape that. Let's see what happens. And then I guess I should make sure that this is actually implemented. Oh, see, list reverse. Um, C slash apple, C D lib, C D list. Let's make sure map is actually implemented correctly here too. Okay, okay, okay. FNXT. My first guess is it's something to do with how I do um, the passing in of the uh, function pointer. Do I use it anywhere here? Oh my goodness. Um, like we're trying to do function composition basically in kind of a way. Um, t 
is, I hate this so much. Function call type mismatch, it says. Jesus fucking Christ. Wow, these are the only times it's used and it's used for reverse? Okay. Do I do copy paste working example? Is there a working example of map? We could always just load this into our namespace and uh, assuage any concerns it might be rid of the list, but I don't think it is. Function refs. Okay, let's let's look at this. Expand our Acme. Acme expand. Let's get rid of these directories for a second. Let's focus on this. The function refs example. Let's see. Ref function. We use this here for ins insertion sort, I say. Um, an array of string, good. Um, comparator. Oh, I use it for a comparator, I see. Um, ref fn. Um, sort unsorted. What is unsorted? Uh, what is comp? How do I define comp? See, this is exactly what I expect. See, we have a reference of a function, we just pass it in by name. I'm super confused. Is it because it's an int? Should it be a string? Let's just, hold on. All these examples seem to use strings. I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go on a limb here, just in case. I know I named it still nums, but bear with me. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh my God. Wait, wait, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember. No, you can't just copy paste changing T with in. That's not how that works. Oh my God, I remember. It's all coming back to me now, I think. Um, oh shit, okay. Um, so you can't use primitive types, I think, is what this is. Um, <laughs> and string is special, which is why I think it works. I wanna say string might technically be like equivalent to like an ADT. It's like a higher level type, okay? And I think the T's, the, the polymorphism just doesn't work with uh, primitives. Wait, I think I might talk about this actually in the generics thing. Um, oh, fuck me. Um, as I, I think I remember having to work around this. Oh my god, I did. That's why I made in the generics example. That's why I have a uh, int type, an integer type. It's like fucking Java shit. I have an integer ADT that just contains an int. Oh my god. Ugh. Right, I remember being so unimpressed in the moment then because of... Uh, because of how the limbo polymorphism worked. Oh my goodness, wow. All right. All right, okay, 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 okay. Now I do wonder if I just type def, I think if you just type def, it just works. Does that make sense? Um, it's kind of like in Go, right? You know, uh, Oop has entered the chat. You know in Go how you can make, you can't make methods on primitive types, right? Like in Go, oh, I'm gonna figure out. We're, we're, we're writing an example real quick of what, I, what I'm about to guess is gonna happen, all right? Um, um, all right, all right, all right. Oh my god, the white on white uh, with no border killed me a little bit there. Alright, so in Go, you have like package, main. I need to do os go run methods.go. I think this will just work. Yep. Sick. 
All right, package main import func uh, func main da 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 da. da. Wow, can you tell I write more Go than Limbo? Uh, and if you try to do, like, well, you just can't. You just can't write, like, uh, so let's say we have, like, it was. It was quite pretty, and we'll go back to that in a second, right? Um, okay, so we have n equals 3, and we get 3 out when we run this. Seems good. Seems kosher. Um, so now, what if we want to make a polymorphic function? This is why the whole Go doesn't have generics thing is kind of a, um, kind of a thing. Though I will say the uh, Go to stuff is pretty nice. I don't have it on this computer set up, but uh, I do have a repository. Let me link it actually. Um, I, I I have my GitHub somewhere. I think I put a uh, like the go to stuff recently. It's pretty sick, and it looks so much like. Um, maybe I can just clone it down so we can read it. Generic map and fold. Right, exactly. Um. Oh my God! When and where did I do this? Did I ever push it? Oh, I did it. Uh, when I was reading Bartosz Maluski Maluski Maluski's category theory for programmers okay so it's in here um and I draw your eyes to something very similar to what we're looking at now and we'll look at the raw file in a second um I think I can just I can't web grab this but we can just do this right and we're gonna actually save this as a slash uh go to dot go Okay, we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this actually in over here. All right, back to you in a second. Um, but uh, you do this and you can't have a polymorphic function, but, and you can't write a method on top of it either. You can have func double um, n in, uh, returns an in oh i'm gonna have like a stroke trying to write go after writing limbo and switching back again this is gonna be terrible um but you can do this right and you can do like double n right this is pretty standard stuff we get back six totally makes sense totally kosher totally down with this you cannot write funk n int double int Unless I'm about to be proven totally wrong, but I don't think I am. Yeah, cannot define new methods on non-local type int. Non-local type int, okay? And so what you need to do is you need to type like integer int, okay? Let's do that, make sure I did that right. Yep, then we do this, then we do this, Oh, excuse me. Do this. Can't use to type integer, just type in return argument. Cool. Um so we make this an in uh, we can make this an in fuck it. Um because I bet we can just do this. And we get six back. And now Well, okay, well it was already using that. But if we do like n if we do like integer of three, we do n dot double. Now we get six back again. So this works and we've effectively done a method on top of just an integer. And I bet, I bet because Go is so similar to Limbo that this is secretly how it works in uh, Limbo. And string is just special enough that this works. So, 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 going back, rewinding, let's get rid of all this shit. Going back here to generics. Oh, there's so much noise on my screen. Do I mention this? Supply is a generic type which match whatever type is provided. 
Um... <laughs> do, 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 do. Maybe I don't mention it. I'm looking to see if I talk about not being able to use primitives. I will laugh really hard if I'm totally wrong about all this too, but I don't think I am. I don't think I am. I don't say primitive, do I? Guess not. Maybe that's a to-do. Or maybe not. Maybe everyone should learn by fire like this. Probably not. I don't really like that approach. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So now, looking back, you remember how we had the really nice map implementation, right? And we, we liked that a lot. Um, let's look at that real quick. Er, that, there we go. And let's compare go to style polymorphism with limbo style polymorphism side by side okay so on the right we have limbo on the left we have go um and maybe this isn't the best example but i think it'll get the job done so let's look at like a uh, map here right map bracket t f ref function x t returns type t l list of t returns list of t if l is nil return nil otherwise we return function of head of l uh, prepended into recursion on map this function map of f t l l the rest of the list l that's t l is tail and h d is head as we may recall looking over here in a compose function which is very foundationally similar and this is supposed to be the compose sign, I think, but my font doesn't have it. That's kosher. Uh, compose of bracket, func compose bracket, A, B, C, any, end bracket, F, func of A and B types, G, func B and C types, returns function A to C. So this is the classical compose where if you have a function from A to B and a function from B to C, you can define any function from A to C. Classic mathematics. And that's what this does is it returns a function that maps then instead of A, B, C to straight uh, or A to B, B to C, you just get A to C and it just uses G of F of X, fog G of F of X. Um, so uh, this looks so similar. Like we have funk over here and we don't need that in limbo. We have the name compose, and we have like the name like filter or map or whatever, and then bracket T, and you can have multiple types, mind you, you can. Um, see, we see pair here, T1, T2, and we say list of T1, list of T2, and we just use those list of T1, T2, right? Right? And it's the same here, except we have this any keyword, because I believe they're trying to do some kind of constraining, and we don't have that at all in limbo. But this is basically the same thing as like this. Like this syntax and this syntax are like the same in my brain, uh, more or less. I just think it's really interesting to see it side by side since Limbo is basically the direct predecessor in terms of implementation to Go, uh, in my mind. So, is pair returning a list of tuples? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, let me look a little closer. Yeah, 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 it's a list of tuples. And you can have that. Um, you can have you have tuples in uh, limbo and you can make a list of tuples i show this off in limbo by example in the list example i think i actually might use pair re-implement pair i don't remember uh but it does basically the same thing so yeah and, and you can tell it's a tuple because of these parents uh paren hd l1 uh, or head l1 head l2 and paren prepend to pair uh recursing of the tail of L1, tail of L2. I'm kind of surprised they don't use um, Unicode subscript too. I like to do that a lot, is use Unicode subscript to differentiate them rather than having a full size one or two or zero or whatever. Kind of physics style where you'll have like a 
sub O or sub zero as like origin, right? Anywho, this was a fun distraction. I'm gonna get rid of these now and we can go about fixing our code. So showing off this, we can't use an int, but we can use a string. We still wanna do double and we're gonna say integer. I'm gonna say integer. And I wonder if I can do, I don't remember how to type def off the top of my head. Um, I don't even remember if Limbo really lets you do that outside of ADTs. Uh, rep dash n type uh, star slash star dot b. Is that going to get me what I want? Oops. There we go. What are you? Uh, comp type ref. Oh, we define a comparator type. Interesting type. So maybe I can do integer type int. I do that. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um I do this. Didn't seem to like that. Um Hold on, hold on, on. <sighs> Wait, list of int. Oh, because it, I think it's deriving that uh, this is just an int and simplifying it. I think that's what's happening. We didn't fool it. We didn't fool it with a basic uh, type redefinition. We need a whole ass ADT for this, which is fine. We're actually going to end up with the same syntax down here because this is how you write constructors for ADTs. This just makes me sad that this is uh, what we have to do. Um, integer ADT. And note how similar the ADT and module syntax is. The module is in fact just a special use ADT. Um, I don't think I can just have an unnamed int, but we're gonna try anyways. Yeah, I didn't like that. All right. In general, you don't get unnamed stuff very often, I think, in Limbo. Ah, what the shit. Function call type mismatch. All right, calm down. Um, two times n dot n. Oh, this is terrible. Uh, I, I dot n. Limbo is a very fun and interactive language. Look at how easy. Um, fucking what? Um, return two times i dot n of type n as an f and ah oh, Jesus Christ okay integer all right let's do that all right call miss match clash in nums ah oh, sweet Jesus I remember this being like just a total pain in the ass when I did it in the first place too. Ref fn i integer returns an integer nil list of integer list of t what does it want from me? It's not good enough. Function call type mismatch 
I don't understand. I don't understand. I... I don't. I don't know if I'm missing something really obvious. Maybe there's a reason the standard library doesn't use map anywhere. Damn. Um, I really thought we had all the pieces together for this. We saw it work with string, is the thing that's really fucking with me. Is that totally worked with string, right? Like, I'm not crazy. Like, if I go back... Like, am I writing the wrong file? That, that would be a classic. No, it's totally right. That's not good enough. List of T. Double is a function. There's no way that the variable name matters. Right? Oh, thank you. Uh, Mycroft IV is cheering me on and says this is an epic saga in the Discord. I agree. Um, wow, I wish I wasn't an entire uh, double mug of uh, hot cider deep. I think my uh, stomach's mostly brandy at this point. Uh, wow, I am really confused. Because... Cause right, like we saw <laughs> with the string, like, like I'm not crazy. Like let's let's just redo this real quick and just say like emphasis, em emphasize. All right, right, like emphasize. Uh, S string. Returning a string. Return. S plus exclamation point. Okay, okay, okay. Are we gonna call this? We're gonna call this um words. I'm just gonna re. I, I'd regex it, but uh, I'm I'm too agitated. Okay, 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 okay. All of this cool and good. Why? Why? Why, 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 why? Like, I really thought I had that. I bet it's something really dumb, and I bet when I go back and watch the replay of this and put it on YouTube, I'm gonna just like laugh at myself, or I'll send this whole bit, I'll send like this part of the video to like Charles and he'll laugh at me. Um, and be like, oh no, it's, uh, you just need to do, you need to do this one simple trick. Limbo programmers hate this. Um, oh my god. Okay. We run this, we do this, we emphasize, it works! We hit the emphasize, it does our little composition here. But why on string, specifically? Why? Is it just broken? Is the polymorphism just in that incomplete? Like, hell, let's do, uh, let's just do our approach from last time, right? Like, can I do this? I hope I can. Like, we just always get a smiley face. Um. Uh, type. Oh, because it wants just one thing. I don't know if I can like concatenate lists. I guess there's probably a list la module function for concat. Oh, look, there is. Um, why don't we just use that, huh? Why don't we just? Use <laughs> sweet fucking Jesus. I bet this just works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do FP S set mu foam. Yeah, er, uh, uh. 
Well, I'm gonna be real. I don't know why Mew. Oh, I I gave it Mew. I'm daft. Um. This is kind of weird though. Wait, hold on. Wait, this is breaking my brain a little bit. S set. Oh, it's cause I it's cause I put in the extra stuff. I see. I see. I see. Oh, jeez. It's cause the it's cause the string was in twice. Um. Smiley S set Mew. Right. This works. Map just works here. But <laughs> if we make this in, it's going to just not work, right? Like, what the hell? I don't, uh, I don't know. Uh, like, I don't just do this in the generics example, right? Like, Oh, this example is cursed. Maybe this is why this isn't documented in any of the limbo documentation. Is it just like kind of doesn't work? Is member right? All I'm thinking about this whole like time though is uh, that comparator example I had. And that wasn't in here though. That was in the function ref one, right? I just also might happen to use polymorphism, I thought. Mm, no, we just do it on string, I guess. Seems good. Um, well, I hope I solve this before uh, I have to just, like, stop. This is, like, really bothering me now. Because I have... Not those, those are on ADTs. Like is member X of T and list of T in. Is there some constraint? No, there isn't. We looked at the definition of map. We know exactly how map is implemented. It's very tight and clean. There's no constraining. And by constraining, I mean this little four bit here where you have to like have a specific interface. Oh, what the hell? So what if we take Um, let's take map out. Let's just take this out real quick. Just because I kind of want to look it in the eyes. Right? Um, but I did that ADT definition right. Like, right? Like, I didn't fuck up the ADT. Yeah, that looks right. Yeah. 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 Um. And this just works. Right. Cool and good. Can I get this in my Acme tab? I kind of want this in my Acme tab. In my like tag, excuse me. It's just like Throw this up here real quick. Ah, yes, yes, good, good, good. Um, so that just works. List of t. Very simple function. Does one thing. Very similar to this function. <sighs> but if we do. Like, let's take a version of this and let's just do, let's skip the ref just to see if that is what's happening here. Let's write um, doubler, okay? It's boundary, string boundary. Um, Right? Okay. So we have an integer. I, I'm not even going to name it integer. I, I, I want to make sure that there's like no name collisions happening here. We're going to have this X. Um, no, it has to be. It has to be N. It bothered me too much if it's X, right? That was not declared. That's fine. Map. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, doubler on TLL. 
Right. And we're going to do double. And we're going to make this double function. Oh, but this isn't going to be a polymorphic function, is it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know if I can actually do this how I want to do it. Well, we're going to try anyways. Because why not? Should yell at me, right? Well, that for one. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna let me do this though. You like can't mix polymorphism and not polymorphism. Totally makes sense though. I'm throwing that out the window. Um, let's just do a uh, identity function. Um, okay. All right. So we then do okay that is a ADT integral with the value 13 embedded inside of it okay and then we're gonna make a list of integral and that's gonna be cool and good and then we're going to do id l equals id l type mismatch i'm going to try something real quick type clash l list integral Oh my god. Wait, I, is this is this what I think this is? Oh Jesus. Oh don't not like this. I think I remembered something again. Um oh. You for real? Has to be a reference, that's all this was. Strings are always references, huh? Because they're slices or arrays or whatever. I think, oh my god, is that what this is this whole time is references all, uh, not even well they have to they have to be like a special case, don't they, huh? like uh wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh sweet mercy. yeah, that's what I'm thinking now is <laughs> it might work with ref in Oh man. What the hell? I'm swearing too much almost. I'm gonna get banned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't remember how unpacking works, so I'm gonna do this the lazy, narrative way. Yeah, joys of trial by fire by lack of docs. Um, What? Oh my god, I changed it in the wrong place. Don't even care, actually. Um, oh my god, I didn't even change all of it. I'm so mad and so tired. That's what it is. Let's just like get rid of all that. We well, you know what happened.
Do to do to do. Fighting the compiler at every turn. Don't even care that arg's not referenced. What do we get? 13, huh? 13. All right. So, now to test our theory. Let's do this. Cuz I don't Let's do this. Can we do this? This is the question. Stop that real quick. Come back. Cannot make a ref from I of type int. Glorious. Cannot have a ref int. So I was still right. You need the integral. Cap int, it said. Cap int. So, what did we learn? We learned that polymorphism in limbo hates primitives, and I was right all along in ways I never even knew. Not only Lamau, yeah, Lamau, Lamau is right. Uh, that's a, that's a, that's like a what? Can I get? <laughs> I can't, I can't with this. Like I, I just. Oh man. Man. Ah, fuck off. I. I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, args isn't referenced. How will Limbo survive? So, let's rewrite all of this. Get rid of map. Or keep ID just because I think it's kind of cute. Um, I think I can just do ref. Okay, so wait, actually, I can do something really funny here. Uh, I, can, I think I can do, though, int um, type ref integral. Right? Yeah, I know there's a syntax error because I like. Of int. And then we do int 13. I think I can do this. I can do this. So, okay, 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 okay. So this is a little cursed, but we're going to do it. Um, oh boy. Um, Cool. Limbo. FP. 1332 da 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 da. Right. List map. Double. Ready for this? And we're gonna do double. Um I in print an N. Um, I dot n. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It just works. Just works. That's just it. We solve polymorphism in limbo. Um, so we use map. Let's use filter while we're here. You know, because we like this so much. And it says, in the Gospel of Charles, first book of Charles, uh, verse, uh, bo <laughs> first book of Charles in lists, verse 2, it said, wherever the hell this is, filter returns a new list containing the only elements of L that satisfy P. 
I'm going to say that even numbers survive. Yeah? I like that. Um... Uh, sorry, one second. Uh, all right. Man, I totally remember this too, and I remember being really mad about it at the time too, and I think I like, maybe I like called up Moody or someone, because me and Moody were close, and I was like, Moody, you won't believe this. Um, uh, this needs to return an int, actually. I was like, Moody, the polymorphism in Limbo is so broken. And like, no one cares though, because we need to return a Boolean. That's why we need an int. Uh, and I think we can just do i.n modulus 2 equals equals 0. Yeah? Cool. Uh, yeah, I recall the rant. The, yeah, I was like mad. Um... So, oh god, are these all even numbers after doubling? All right, hold on. L equals, we have to do this before. Oh, maybe we can do something really cursed. Wait, hold on. We can do lists, filter, or excuse me. Uh, no, 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 I have this backwards. Lists, filter, L, and is even L. Look at this composition. Oh, oh, ah, that's it. That's it. That's the whole tweet. That's all she said. Um, that's it. Um, I might just put this up. I'm going to put this FP example up in the limbo playground so I can point at it and be like, this is generic. This is generic. It's just stupid. And here, generics were a mistake. Um, I can't have. Here's a lesson in generics. Can't have a ref int, but you can have a type pointing a type alias to ref integral. There we go. In T polymorphism. There we go. That's that's the answer. This, this is the whole thing. Um, yeah, just to get even more just ID of L in there. Why not? In the same shit. Look at that. Look at those sweet, sweet nested parents. <laughs> do this kind of lispy style. Let me do a uh huh. Uh -huh something like that damn look at that Minecraft I don't know if you're still watching but uh we made it this is it this is the lesson from the whole time I didn't learn anything I think I just rediscovered things this makes me happy though. I like these functions. And really these are very clean polymorphic definitions. Sweet, sweet victory. Um I don't know how much more time I have tonight. I might have to pick someone or walk someone. Because I wouldn't drive after drinking this much, but uh I might have to like walk someone home, I'm not sure. We'll see. All right. Wow, what was I even doing? We were doing IPWL before we went down this rabbit hole. I'm glad this video exists because I kind of wanted a video and I might still make a dedicated, I don't know if it's going to be a stream where I mess around with the go-to generics and compare them side by side with the limbo polymorphism. But uh, I do want to side by side them and I'm glad that happened at some point in this video and that we got to see limbo polymorphism ironed out here a fair bit at least polymorphic functions obviously this isn't hasn't covered polymorphic adts and i don't really want to 
poke my toes back into that. Let's see. I think I might actually have a note in here talking about this whole ref thing. Um, note that instances of polymorphic types are always prefixed with ref. There it is. I was right. I already knew this. Oh my god. If I had just read the docs. See, this is the part where if I was talking to like the nine front folks and this was like a one sentence in a paper somewhere they'd be like aha you should have read that paper and i'd be like uh. and they're or they've been like yeah you should have read the manual and there's like one sentence in the manual that's like oh and you need to do this every single time and i just like totally missed it um or because i don't want to read this entire wall of text every time i want to do one small thing this is a big argument on my part uh so a lot of nine front manuals from the older plan nine days i should say old plan nine manuals really is what it is old plan nine manuals have a habit of mixing in flag stuff with like uh let, let, let me find a limbo um like man one what, what do we even have grep i guess okay yeah yeah so this is a great example actually so this is a what i would say is a good manual page you have synopsis up here and then all of the command line flags are tabled here right in older plan 9 manuals this will just be interspersed inside i can i can find a really good example because I, I i know for a fact the uh rio manual is like this and the rio manual is just a nightmare to read as a result in my opinion so if you look at the rio manual um you can see that there's no table of like command line flags it's just like inner spirits you have sentences like uh like uh ch -ch 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 from like the first paragraph you can see that its i option is the startup script which typically contains several window commands generated by wlock wlock whatever the dash k option causes rio to run and th this would be fine actually if, if if it was like easy to find that stuff like if, if it, it like when you typeset the manual page it's a little easier like can you render it to trough and render it as postscript and view it that way then it's kind of fine as you it, the formatting helps you pick it out but it's still in my opinion not a great it just makes the glance value so much worse like glance value might be kind of a meme but like but like uh but 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 in my opinion it makes a big difference in readability because I like to be able to check documentation quickly. I like being able to check it quickly and see like what I'm looking for, what I was specifically what I'm looking for very easily. Anyways, I don't like the prose manual pages, even if they're elegant. I did offer to rewrite all of them at one point, but I don't know if I have the time anymore. I probably do now that it's quarantine, but potato, potato. It'd be a big task, and I think getting those commits through would be hard. It's one of those things where you, I, I think we talked about a number of times in Cat V on IRC, and the thesis was basically if somebody does it and commits it, it'll probably just stay there. Uh, so there's that. Or I just release a huge patch set, who knows, and convince someone like Ori to merge it, stage a coup in the commit log. Uh, commit per changes. What do I ask? Do I need? Oh, I need a commit. A limbo playground fp example to change login all right i'm making note to myself what i need to do after the stream because it might happen in the morning let's see wow this has been a huge deviation this was good this is productive we solved someone's limbo bugs we uh relearned and documented on video accidentally how limbo's polymorphism works and we still have time for dessert limbo star dot b how does this even start was there like a function in here that used polymorphism? I think I looked at like one of these and was
was partially inspired. Who knows? I don't remember. I'm gonna rewatch the video and find out. Um. Wow, this is a lot of errors. What about Pong? I like Pong. Pong is great. Thank you, Sapphire, and Discord for cheering us on. Um. All right, all right, all right. So let's do this. Limbo. Are these just raises? Uh, in case you remember, if you do, if you forgot, um, raise in old Limbo is a function in the sys library module in the sys module, but uh, in modern limbo it is just like a keyword you call without parens or anything like so uh z minute uh, seven minute asks do you plan to write metacoma do you plan to write your own 9p file server in limbo on the next stream i could i did think about it actually i was kind of planning on not writing code but my arm seems to be doing fine so i guess it worked out and we kind of accidentally did it out of rage uh i do have some file systems in limbo and i would write some on stream uh i think this, let me link one real quick so here's one here's a uh, simple fs which is one of my demonstrative uh file 9p file systems and this one this should just work um i think <sighs> on my profile in GitHub real quick. See if I have anything else under limbo. Ducker. Not that. Oh, I have tic-tac-toe FS. That's another good one. Oh, I was gonna go back and I originally wrote the simple FS and tic-tac-toe FS so that I could re-implement Mycroft's uh, hub FS in Limbo because I thought it would be useful to have lying around. And I think I might still do that. Um, I, I might still go back and write hub FS. So maybe that's what I'll do on like the next stream is plan to write hub FS in Limbo. And I might start from scratch, or I might start from like tic tac toe FS or something. I don't know. Just take that code and start mutating on top of it. So that's how I like to do those kinds of projects. I saw tic tac toe, -tac -toe FS sometime before. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it just works. I and mean, we can find out, I suppose. Or CD Apple. OS get clone. See, my make file here works. What do I do here? Mm, slash make. Uh, I see. Um, as you may recall, I struggled to write a make file earlier. It looks like I did it right in uh, tic tac toe FS. Interesting. I wonder if bouncing ball, I never actually committed the working version. And then I wonder where the working version is if I didn't commit the working version. All sorts of things to think about, because I remember getting it working and being totally elated. It would be that surprising if I didn't actually uh, <laughs> get it totally working. So TTTFS-D. Oh, man. All right, you're not going to. Let's just uh, Brutus this real quick. I hope that's legible. I hope all of this is at least slightly legible. I don't know how legible it is on stream. Uh, I might have to update or up, upgrade, upsize. That's the word. Upsize my font size in the future, actually. This is not great to read on compared to Acme, in my opinion. I don't like the dark gray background very much. Though I guess I could just edit that and make it look like Acme, but then I might as well just use Acme, you know? I'd kind of rather it just be white. Or like a light gray, not as this dark of a gray. Anyways, I'm bike shedding. 
Um, what do all these options do? R. Oh yeah, I mean, I gave it like a raw mode so that it just outputs like a compressed version of the board rather than a pretty printed version in case you want to script it. Cause I think I had the idea of writing a bot, like a chess or not like a tic-tac-toe bot. Cause I wanted to write a chess FS and I wanted to write a chess bot. Um, and I had the, 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 this idea to, to script it with a bot and then use like the raw mode for the bot and serve it as like an FS to like the grid or something. Anyways. Uh, dash D, that should be enough. Or, ah, oh, fuck. Uh, you have to do it the Inferno way. So we do, you have to do like mount TTTFS slash MNT slash TTT. T. That's the syntax. So do you see the board? Won't let us read CTL. Turn number one, I'm guessing. Score. Uh what's the format for this? Did I even document it? I bet it's in the readme actually. If I'm gonna be real, but let's just derive it anyways for giggles, maybe. Form. Ah, I was nice. Is X O X Y. So we can do echo X zero zero. I mean, mm, I don't know what N O is, but. Q you no. Know, Oh, it's game number. So I guess if you mount it multiple times, maybe you get something new. That's kind of a neat. I wonder if it actually works. Uh, o, zero, zero, CTL. There's already a piece there. Clever, zero, one, CTL. What's bike shutting in script tech? Um, it's when you need to build a bike shed and the day you decide to do it, you spend the whole day arguing about what color the shed should be. And no shed is built at the end of the day. It's kind of like the phrase yak shaving, if if you want to look that up. It's just like wasting time on pointless details. Like, who gives a shit what color the shed's painted if the shed never gets built is kind of the idea, right? Like, it doesn't actually matter. Not that aesthetics don't matter, but that it's probably prudent to just build the shed first and then you can at least have the shed built and useful before you decide what the aesthetics are. Yeah, Bob Ross memes. Uh, so in this case, yeah, there, there's actually there's a fun, um, I don't know if it's fun, but there, there exists a uh, variant of bike shedding within I think the Go and Plan 9 communities they refer to as pike shedding. Uh, which is a similar idea applied to like Rob Pike's opinions on software. I have no real like comment on that. I think it's used by people that uh, are a bit more agitated by Rob Pike and his opinions. Because uh, I honestly don't really care. I think I don't think it really affects me. But you see it pop up in like Cat V I R C and whatnot every now and then. Anywho, so TTTFS works. So you can probably base something off of it. Pretty. Pretty easily, I guess. Okay, back to fixing these raises. Do, 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 do. It's funny, they actually insert this fail text. That's kind of neat. Off by one line, huh? <laughs> oh oh god oh jesus all right there were more errors um oh man oh man i don't know if i have the energy to dig through the draw 
and debug. Oh man, I don't know if I have the energy for that right now. Oh man, I did not sign up for draw routine debugging. All right, that's that. That's another stream. I said Shaw. Shaw's looking nice now. I maybe. What are these errors? Not a member of Keyring of type Keyring. Oh no. Nope. I take it back. I don't want that one either. I don't want to look at Keyring code. I don't want to look at draw code. Wow, this code is really broken, huh? <laughs> wow. Maybe I'll just tap out here, you know? Like, I feel pretty satisfied. I'm kind of sifting through to see if I can spot any easy errors here. Um, we did so much already. Orange FS? Maybe I'm being deceived, but I see raises again. Where was the rest of them? Another one there. Why does he gotta put these on a new line? Is he coding on like a tiny? Oh Jesus! Oh man! All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Wow, okay. So all of his file systems are broken. All of his draw code is broken. Man, print filter? That sounds like something. <laughs> oh my god, it includes sticks. Oh, this is such a small program. Though, how broken could it be, he said, famous last word, Ainsley. What the fuck is an S message? Print sticks messages and filter pipeline. What? You need a little said magic. Yeah, I know. I need I'm I'm getting to the point where I rewrite enough of these raises I should just have a said line to do it for me. I did something similar actually. Oh, let me find it. It's a blog post I did about porting software. I ended up writing Yeah, so here it is. I ended up writing some scripts to make uh this easier. I don't know if I actually linked to them in here though. Kind of silly if I didn't. That's kind of the whole point of the blog post, you know? Um, Do, 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 do. Uh, some of them are in here, it looks like. There's, uh, these are pretty dirty scripts, but there's like, uh, this Convio one. These are, these are pretty, pretty rough, but, uh, it makes like printf into print, f open into open, and then you get, you just have to go through and whack them all the file pointer to file descriptor errors rather than anything else. It just kind of works out. Da 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 da. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just gazing at these scripts uh, in another window. But, man, what is he even doing here? Ref type error cannot be qualified with dot. Okay. Let's look in sticks.m. What is a what is a filter? Oh Jesus! What is a filter message? A nothing. That's what it is. Um, what is it here? We don't even import it. What the hell, man? It's not even imported. What? What did you think it was? Er. 
S message also doesn't exist, but the compiler already told us that. Is there anything that says filter? Does this exist? Print filter, print six messages in a filter pipeline. What does that mean? What is this? What is this whole thing? What is F message? Is rewrite even called? This isn't even a real f program. It doesn't even use any of this shit. Oh my god, I can't. Wow, I remember the limbo mail or the inferno mailing list sounding kind of harsh when they were talking about this, but like, man, it is really half baked on here. Canon filter. Um, so these are raises. What if I try my hand at writing a regex for this? Oh, that sounds so hard. I think I'm too tired to write a big regex. How many are in here? How many are in here? Canon filter. Do you use, oh my God, it uses the sticks libraries. It uses S message. What is S message? Where does he use this? It must be the return type of something in old limbo. Bug, nice. Bug, nice. I can't, I can't with all this. I need to like filter over the things that are coming out here. And, oh, that looks like an easy one. Wait, hold on. He said famous last word easily. Okay, okay, buff IO? I can do buff IO. Um, file buff seek, argument type mismatch, expected big saw, zero of type int. Bam, that, that sounds like old limbo to new limbo stuff. Uh, point. Let's check the signature of the sync, seek method. Let's see if this finds it for us. Yeah, that looks right. File buff. Ah, here's the buff IO one. Which one's a big? Second one's a big? Great. I know how to fix that. We just upgrade it to a big. Ah, we did it. We fixed one. That's it. That's all I needed. Oh. <laughs> and sug faults. Amazing. Great. Amazing. Glorious. Oh, what the hell? File name. Oh, you need arguments. It doesn't even test for the arguments. Why would people like this? If len arg v is less than two, we saw this before. Um, we're just gonna do. No, that's too mean. I don't. Wanna, I don't want to do that. He doesn't even load. Sys? Does he even use sys? Oh, I guess he doesn't. Wow. Well, we're going to use sys now, even if he doesn't use it anywhere else. Yeah, because he just loads buff IO to... Uh oh. It's the first... That was, <laughs> it's the first limit of psych fall in my life. Yeah, right? Um, Load sys sys path. Er, excuse moi We don't... Where does he load... He loads it here? Nah, man. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see what he's doing. He's just doing it where he needs it, which is tr fair, but um, no. So we're going to do sys print sys fill des 2 because we're nice on standard error. We're only going to do it here. So we're not making alias. What is this? Liner. Wait, what are these? Files? File name? And then an ellipse. Great. Um, exit. Well, raise usage or whatever. Or er, f print. Excuse me. All right, let's try that again. That compile it. The reference of no.
where, how, why, we shouldn't have gotten that far. Oh, it's because we did dash H. Oh my god. As we're not using ARG. Ugh, we need to bring in ARG too. And he does this thing where he breaks them up. I'm using ARG. You can't stop me. Like, you know, I will accept that ARG only needs to be used here. That seems reasonable. Um, And look what we get to use, my favorite set usage. Nope, that's not that. Off by one. Dude, the, the real answer is you just always use what your language gives you for argument handling and you'll have nice tools. That's, I think, the lesson here. Liner dash H. All right. Um, and then, I really need to update the arg example to show erg. That might be like I think that's an issue ticket for Purgatorio. Like you should never use arg. You should just always use erg. Um, we're just gonna do a nice kaparu right here. We're just gonna do this. So now we do liner dash H and we get that. Great, it's guarded, awesome, perfect. And then down here, we can do if len arg v is less than one, arg usage, bam, two places. So now we can do liner dash H, get that. We can do liner with nothing and we get that. So clean. Glorious. And nicely guarded. No seg faults here. So now if we do liner, liner.b, I guess. What does that do? Did I like corrupt the file? What's happening? What what just happened? I don't actually know what that's supposed to do. What this program's supposed to do. Maybe it says in the book. I don't know if the text is uh searchable though oh i found okay i found the entry in the book where it talks about the liner example does it look like this it looks a lot like what we originally had in fact i think it is what we originally had uh da 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 and is a line numbering program. It reads in the contents of a text file and prepends a line number to each line of the file. Wait, did it do that? I don't think it did that. What's happening here? Um. Huh. Wow. How is this program broken in an elaborate way? Takes a file name. Why does it load buffio every time? It loads buffio every time. Why does it do that? Why is he like that? Why would you do that? Why would you load it every time? That can't be good for it, right? Like liner. Liner dot B. Like we are getting it. Hey, oh, it does TL arg v. It's gonna be nothing. Duh. Oh my god, it overwrites in the original file. Oh sweet Jesus. No, not like this. I don't care. I, I know it's been modified since the last read. Oh my god, why does he do that? Oh, that should do standard out. I don't like that when 
it just inserts it. But I guess it prevents the classic cat thing, where if you cat a file to itself, it just, like, nukes it. <laughs> Which I bet that's how that works here, too. Um, user 51 on Discord uh, asked, any short explanation about what Limbo offers? I assume it would be in a Plan 9 environment. Um, I'm going to assume they're not listening to stream, but I'm going to explain every anyways, even though my audience is mostly Metacoma, uh, and say that Limbo offers something between C and Go, but it's neither. It's much higher level than C, and it's, I think, more half-baked than Go. And that's okay. It doesn't try to be Go, and it was made well before Go was ever done. Uh, and Go was made with a ton more hindsight. So, I would say Limbo gives you dynamic loading, gives you ADTs, abstract data types, gives you some polymorphism that doesn't exist in Go, first class functions, first class, because you can have like function pointers floating around and everything, and first class. Ah. <laughs> But lists? I already said that. Uh, polymorphism said that. Yeah. Uh, dynamic loading of modules and unloading of modules for memory management. And it's garbage collected, which is nice, in my opinion. So, there's that. I'm not going to type a response right now. Let's change this to uh, not do the whole uh you know overwriting the original file thing instead we're going to rewrite it to output the standard out let's figure out where we do that shall we reorder F list list of string. Does this just reverse it? Is this just a reverse function? Why would they have that? Oh, because the prepend. Ha! We could use the lists module and not re implement this. That has to be what this does, right? Yeah, our list. And then the list module has um uh reverse, I think. Come on, Sig, you can do it. What? <laughs> yeah. Reverse. Whatever. And then we do dot M. I'm just going to assume that works. We're just going to get rid of this reorder thing. If it doesn't work, well, tough beans. So, lines, does it read the whole file into memory? Yeah, it do. That's pretty cool. We don't need to reseek. Reordering the lines still makes sense if we're going to do that. But you could just emit them as you get them. So I think this is still kind of a moot point. Buffio open uh, slash fd slash zero for standard. 
Do we get an open on an FD? Maybe. Or just open. Open F open. Ah, there it is. Move in. F open. And we can do sys fill des zero. And we do sys oh right. I wish there was a standard formatter for limbo. I don't think there is. Which is unfortunate. Awesome. And just for giggles. Let's just do that before we optimize. Oops. Don't forget to flush it. Liner, uh, liner dot B. Oh, goody, no output. Why? You know, like standard out dot close. We need to do something like that. And file buff dot close maybe. Why do we have no output? I don't think that's how that should work. Or zero standard in, I'm daft. There it is. Excellent. See, this is closer to what I was expecting. To originally happen. And it remains the original one unchanged. Now. We're going to optimize this. And we're just going to get rid of the whole thing. We're going to do i colon equals zero i doesn't matter, I plus plus. And now we don't even need lists. That looks like it worked. The reference of no. Oh, it's probably at the load. No? All right, well, let's try that again. Uh. Stack twenty three forty nine. What? Oh, did I get rid of? What did I get rid of? Reference nil. Excuse me. Oh, standard out. That put us string i oh it's because it does headlines that's why plus line let's get why is it temp line just call it line damn it and just do that there we go redeclare it every time man um Boom, boom, blazing fast, shorter, more robust. This is just strictly better, basically, as far as I'm concerned. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think I'm going to be done then. And uh, I will commit the IPWL stuff as well when I get time so for now I think this is all I'm going to do I appreciate everyone that's uh,
stuck through this, and I hope it was very educational. Um, I will come back to this another time, and we can write a file system maybe next time and see how that goes, right? HubFS, if we're really lucky, but that might be a little ambitious. I don't know if I'm good enough for that, but uh, you're good enough at uh, Limbo and file systems to do that, but we can give it a crack and see what happens. Yeah, thanks, uh, Metacoma, for toughing this out. I hope it's been good. I'll put a recording up on YouTube later, and the stream VOD should be on Twitch first and foremost anyways, so it'll be there. Thank you, and have a good night.